Sponsored by Aero Model, the number one choice in brushless motor systems. Hi, I'm Jerry Arish, Senior Technical Editor at Model Airplane News Magazine and ModelAirplaneNews.com. And today I'd like to show you a uh, how-to and product highlight uh, for some Anderson Power Pole connectors. These uh, connectors are ideal for our electric powered airplanes uh, from the smallest uh, park flyers all the way to the largest 3D giant scales. And they're called Anderson Power Poles. i show them right here. And there are many advantages to using these over the standard uh, connectors that come with a pack. And we'll talk about that as we go along. What we'll do is I'm going to show you with this uh, Phoenix 45 ESC the uh, way of connecting the uh, connectors to the power leads so they'll match up to our battery pack. And a little bit of the background, uh, most of the uh, RC uh, electrical wiring that's used in uh, electric powered airplanes are 12 to 18 gauge in, in uh, diameter and thickness. And Anderson power pole connectors are designed specifically to use these size um, wire diameters. In fact there are three and when you use the uh, crimper that goes with putting the connectors together it is designed to do the three most uh, popular sizes and those would be 15, 30, and 45 amp. And these are the small um, insert contacts that go into each Anderson power pole. The uh, 15 amp uh, uh, connector insert is good for uh, 16 to 20 gauge wire. The uh, 30 amp is uh, good for 12 to 16 gauge. And then the larger 45 amp is good for uh, 10 to a 14 gauge wire. So we'll uh, put this together and I'll show you how to crimp them on. So the first thing we do is we get the wire from our ESC and we cut it back to 3 eighths of an inch or so. So it'll match the barrel length for this little connector that we're going to put on it like that. For this uh, Castle Creations uh, ESC we're using uh, the 12 gauge wire that's on it. We've put the uh, insert spoon uh, end a connector onto that and we're going to stick it into the uh, crimping tool and then we'll crimp it into place. Goes in like that and all we got to do is crimp it down until it snaps. Take it out and we have the finished piece like that. And the next thing we'll do is we'll snap it into the receptacle to complete the connector. The final step for each wire is to take our prepared uh, wire lead and we're going to snap it into the body of the connector uh, for the power pole itself. And there's a little spoon section here and this has to go in the top so it matches up against the contact uh, spring. And you just stick it in like that and push it till it clicks into place. Just like that. For the black lead, we take the uh, contact, put it on the end of the wire, open our crimping tool, stick it into the crimping tool, put it into the uh, 30 uh, amp section, squeeze down till it clicks, open up. And one of the things that I like to check here when I look at it is to make sure that it's in a nice straight line. And if it isn't, just take your finger and just kind of make sure it's in a nice straight line. When we stick it in here into the black side, we do the same thing. Put it in, slide it in there a little bit and push it till it clicks. And then the final thing we do is we want to connect these two to each other so they're going to match the battery connectors that we'd already put on before. So I'm going to do it this way with the tongues facing up. So, you just slide it in like that. That's the completed ESC connection. And here's the battery connection. And they s snap together perfectly. So that's it. Really, as you can see, it's, it's pretty easy. 
and you notice a couple of things. Some of the advantages are there's no soldering involved at all. In fact, the whole thing here took probably about one and a half minutes to do both. The crimping is faster and easier and uh, not ha relying on solder, the connections and everything don't get messed up. You don't have little globs of solder that can get in the way, so the connections work very freely. There's no heat shrink tubing required to put on to uh, isolate them, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. The uh, standardization is if you've got a lot of airplanes with different packs and different ESCs, if you use the same connectors throughout, you can always use the same uh, charger that you have for your different packs. You, you can use different ESCs with different battery packs or different uh, charging uh, things like that. And um, there's no male and no female. So one of the things that you can also do to prevent plugging in a battery backwards or something like that is you can hook them up so one is sideways and one is up and down or both of them are backwards or something like that so you never connect the battery to the ESC improperly. So that's it for this time. If you want to see more good how-to's and other products, be sure to come to modelairplanenews.com.